Hi, my name is Jared and I'm a technical support engineer here at Hawk Ridge Systems. This video is part of our technical support tips and tricks video series. This particular video covers the advanced uninstall options within the SolidWorks installation manager in order to perform a clean uninstall of SolidWorks products. In order to initiate the uninstall, simply open up your control panel, which can be done from your Windows Start button, control panel, or for Windows 10 users, right click on the Start button and then Control Panel. Once you're at the Control Panel home screen, you can choose Uninstall a Program. And then after the list populates, simply scroll down to SolidWorks in the list. You'll notice here I've got a couple different versions of SolidWorks. For this video, we will go through uninstalling SolidWorks 2016 SP5. Simply right click, Uninstall. And you should come to a summary screen similar to this one. If you had additional SOLIDWORKS products, they would also be listed here with their own checkbox so they could be selected or deselected for the uninstall. Beneath that, we've got the advanced options. By selecting change, we will be taken to the advanced options page where we now have the options to remove registry entries, data files and folders, and downloaded files and folders. Now these options may change depending on the SOLIDWORKS product that you are uninstalling. They may or may not be available, uh, just depending on whether or not that product is in fact uh, making edits to these locations in your registry and or the C drive. Uh, downloaded files and folders, that is typically going to be your installation file set, whether it was downloaded from a link or the SOLIDWORKS website or if they were loaded from an actual disk. After choosing the options desired, we can double check in our list, which will give us a list of all the file paths, as well as all the registry entries that are going to be removed. After configuring things to your needs, back to summary, and you'll now notice we have an uninstall method of a custom uninstall again including each of the groupings that we selected on the advanced options page. At this point you can select remove items and begin the uninstall of your SOLIDWORKS products. Now if you've performed an uninstall of your SOLIDWORKS products previously but did not choose the advanced options in order to perform the clean install you can reference this list as this would be the default paths for SOLIDWORKS advanced uninstall options. Again, these would be the paths that are going to be removed from your system, both on the C drive and in the registry. I hope this video has been helpful outlining the advanced uninstall options and performing a clean uninstall of SOLIDWORKS products. Thank you for watching and please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at www.hawkridgesys.com for more knowledge-based material. Thank you very much.